Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple water simulation without any code at all. So this is really easy, um, so let's just go right into the video. So first you want to create 2D sprites circle, so it's going to be like one of our water droplets. Let's just make this a bit smaller, and depending on how small you make it, uh, it'll be more detailed, but you'd need more circles, so it would be laggier. So I'm going to go like, this size should be good. So that's 0 0.5 by 0 0.5. Then we're going to color this, whatever color you want the water. And now we're going to add a few components, like a circle collider, and a rigid body 2D. Perfect, so with the circle collider, we actually want to edit it, and make it smaller than the actual circle. I'll explain this in a minute. And so now that we have our circle here, we can make it slippery. So this is very important to make it actually kind of feel like water. So we're going to create 2D, physics material 2D, and just call this water. And then over here, friction, make it zero. That's all we need to do. Now if we apply this right here to our water, we can now make this a prefab and copy and paste it a lot. I was actually, when I first found this, I was very worried that it would lag a lot. It actually doesn't. Um, obviously the more water you have, the laggier it would get, but it seems pretty fine. So I think I'll do this and then I'll duplicate that. All right, so I got my water. I'm going to right click, create empty parent, and just name this like water. Make this a prefab, and now we can just drag in pools of water. So now we can move our water up here. We just create some walls for it to slide along. Give them box colliders, of course. That's not a box collider, what the hell is that? There you go. And now we can test it out. It's that simple. So now if we press play, we have water. And if you want to see how it looks when they're all bunched together, you can just make another one of these. Put it right here. And look at that. Water. Um, so you might notice that the water is kind of going like into the walls. That is very simple to fix. Just get our water droplet here and set the order and layer to like minus one. So now it'll go behind the walls. And that's really all there is to it. Now, of course, you can make them way smaller to get more detailed water. Um, so for example, you could set the scale to be 0 0.2 by 0 0.2. And then increase the amount of water. And now if we play, you can see it's much more detailed water. But that's just up to you and um, how laggy you want it to be. So yeah, that's it. It's really that simple. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.